on guys welcome back to video number 48 and so now that we have a form we're gonna need something to receive that form so remember the create underscore info dot php file that we attached to our form let's go ahead and create that now and save it to our root folder so I'm gonna go ahead and click new let's pull this into our primary browser prim primary monitor and I'm gonna go ahead and save this right now and what did we call this? Create underscore info.php. Create underscore info.php. Okay, so now let's go ahead and what do we need? We need to go grab our variables that main that had our, our connection, the first two steps of our connection so we can get to our MySQL. I'm gonna go ahead and paste those right in there. And we also need our closing connection, but we don't want the whole footer because there's no HTML that's gonna be outputted from this file. So what I need to do is I need to go not grab our, our, our footer.php file and our includes folder. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go old school. I'm gonna close this out this is the information that's in that footer.php file. But again, since we're not using any HTML, we don't want that whole footer file. Nope. Actually, I'm just gonna put this on one line. If you guys are okay with that. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and list the variables for the values that we're gonna catch from this form. And we're gonna be using the post uh, global variable because that's what we use when we collect values in a form. So let's go ahead and list our category fields and we'll create new variables and our first category field was menu and we're going to set this equal to the super global variable of post and now let's index in what we what we call that in um, our PHP my admin so I'll make a little comment over here use post array because we used post variable to collect values in a form okay but we had two more category fields we had position and we also had visible I believe so I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this right here. And let's close these out because we're going to end the statement. We're going to end each statement. And then let's go ahead and fill in the correct index. Okay, hopefully you guys are following along. Good luck with this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.